it's Luca Marini. He wins here in Spain. Brilliant, brilliant response from Luca Marini. Luca Marini stated it was like a game in the beginning, but he's very serious now about his racing career. But the big talk was he would have a new bike for the 2022 season, which we're now in, and the fans were not happy about it because Anea Bastianini wouldn't have one. It was plain to see that Anea was the only rider from the VR46 team who'd made it to the podium and even had more points than Luca Marini. Hence the reason why there was tension in the camp. Luca's half-brother, Valentino Rossi, has given some of the best performances in motorcycle racing, with an impressive seven world championships in the premier class. When he left the competition, all eyes were on Luca Marini, and they wanted him to fill his shoes. <laughs> no pressure, hey? Luca has something to say about it. As we'll discuss later in the video, the pressure was high and the fans were more anxious than ever. Surprisingly, Luca was not that bothered by the pressure. He may not be at the same level as Rossi, but there is always room for improvement. With all that is riding on Luca's back, one question remains. Is he ready to take Valentino Rossi's place? And why was he getting a new bike and not Enea Bastianini? Hmm. Luca Marini first tasted the Moto3 World Championship at the San Marino Grand Prix in 2013. His wild card was the Romini Riviera Grand Prix, but he did not complete the race because of an accident. By 2015, Luca had already made his way to the Moto2 Championship with the same wild card entry. He was with the Pons Racing Junior team while riding a Calex and finished the race in 21st place. 2016 marked a new start for Luca after he got a chance to ride full time in the same class. Soon after, in Qatar, he collected his first points in the Grand Prix. He finished the race in 10th place, but his best performance was in Germany after he finished in 6th position. Luca signed up to the forward racing team for 2017 and finished the Czech Republic race in 4th position. Between 2018 and 2020, he was with Sky Racing when he claimed his first podium in Germany and a win in Malaysia. He added two more podiums in 2019 at Mugello and Assen, followed by wins in Japan and Thailand. 2020 saw him as a championship title contender with Sam Lowe's and Anea Bastianini. Luca had to retire during the first round. Still, he returned during the second round and claimed a victory at the Spanish Grand Prix, followed by a second position at Jerez. He scored points in Brno while achieving fourth place, second place at the Austrian Grand Prix, and a point win at Styria. Then won again in Bassano and followed it with a third victory at the Catalonia Grand Prix. Luca completed the French Grand Prix outside the points zone after falling into 18th position. He high-sided off his bike at Aragon and had to retire from the race, while Lowe's claimed three victories. He completed the same three rounds of the Valencia Grand Prix in 5th position, the European Grand Prix in 6th position, and the Terrorel Motorcycle Grand Prix in 11th position. He was 2nd place in Portugal, with Remy Gardner taking 1st place. Luca completed the Moto2 season of 2020 as the runner-up in the championship, after gaining 196 points, over 3 victories and 3 second places. Himself and Sam Lowe's were on equal points up to the last race, but in the last race, Luca claimed a second place finish, which left Lowe's coming in at third position, which put Luca ahead of Lowe's with equal points, meaning that Luca was on top of him by rule. Anea Bastianini beat them both with nine points more and lifted the 2020 Moto2 Championship title. Luca rose to the MotoGP class for 2021 as a member of Team Esponsorana Avintia, together with Anea Bastianini. Luca's bike had Sky VR46 livery, while Bastianini used the Avintia liveries. During his Qatar rookie season, Luca finished in position 16 and 18 respectively. He fell out of the points both times, while Bastianini, his teammate, finished in positions 10 and 11 in the initial two rounds. Luca improved when he got to Portimao. He made it to the qualifying Q2 after continuous practice, then began 8th on the grid and finished the race in 12th position. He was confirmed to join Team Mooney VR46 for 2022, partnering up with his teammate from 2020, Marco Betzecchi. Is Luca Marini ready to fill in for his half-brother then? From March 2020, there were many expectations put on Luca because of the fact that legendary motorcycle racer Valentino Rossi is his half-brother, and his talent may have rubbed off on him. With Valentino Rossi not showing up in Qatar, it was time for the people to adjust. Who would fill in for the seven-time championship winner, if not his half-brother, Luca Marini? Since 2022, Team VR46 has joined the championship, and Luca joined them and was prepared to take the mantle. 
Still, he warned that he was not ready to compete for the title yet. He was very excited to begin the new season and was feeling very good. However, the previous year had a challenging start because of the few days they had for testing, and they had to speed things up. He constantly rushed to be competitive the whole season, and it cost him. But for the new year, he was more than ready to do better, and the season tests had gone very well, with personal growth and development in the works. He said at the beginning of the 2022 season that it was still too soon to say if he would be fighting for the title, but the MotoGP level had made all riders close because they all had similar or factory bikes. As we approach the last three rounds of 2022, the championship battle at presence will be between Fabio Quattararo, Francesco Bagnaia and Alessia Spargaro, meaning Luca can take more risks now to find the bike settings because he's not in the fight to win the championship. So here's what Luca had to say. Luca and the others would be able to balance the fight between them, but he was not prepared to fight for the title because the team was fairly new and had a lot of growing to do. Unlike most people, the pressure was not that much of a big deal for Luca, even though replacing Valentino Rossi would be a very huge challenge. His tough mentality kept him from breaking, and also considering the fact that since he was a child, the link between them had been small, but got bigger as soon as he got close to the championship. From the start, it was a bit difficult, but he managed. He had mastered the pressure and knew how to deal with it because he's also had great goals to achieve. Therefore, outside pressure would not put a strain on him. Seems like he has a very firm resolve. So even though we're nearing the end of the 2022 season, the fans still want to know why Luca Marini got a new bike for this season. It was announced at the start of the 2022 season that Luca would have a new bike. And for most, the news was not taken well, especially the fans, because Luca's teammate, Enea Bastianini, was the only rider that had made it to the podium, in third position at Misano. On the other hand, Luca's best result was when he was in fifth position at the Austrian Grand Prix. He only had 30 points out of 15 races, while Enea had 71 points from the same races. Enea's manager, Carlo Perne, spoke out about his contractual status, and then about him receiving the Desmos Adishi GP22. Yes, Enea would continue to have an official bike, but the difference would be in terms of whether the official bike was from that year or the last season. Therefore, Luca Marini had the GP22 because it was more theoretically advanced than the GP21, and also because it had been paid for by VR46. However, Enea has had a good second season riding the GP21, which is a year-old bike for the Satellite Grassini team, and will move up to the Ducati factory team for the 2023 season. But as many have pointed out, it was all there for as a matter of money, and VR46 had paid more than Grassini. Here are some interesting facts about Luca Marini. Number 1. If Luca was not a MotoGP rider, then he would prefer to be an astrophysicist. Who would have thought of that? Number two, Luca has two pet dogs at his home. They're named Wendy and Chanel. Number three, he speaks five languages. Polish, French, Spanish, Italian, and English. Number four, he enjoys playing the flute when he has some time on his hands. Number five, this would not come as a surprise. Luca has posters of Valentino Rossi when he was young over his bedroom wall. Now that he is expected to fill in his shoes, there is much to hope for. Number 6. Luca was given a chance to choose a teammate from the past riders. He would surprisingly not choose Valentino Rossi, but Danny Pedrosa. Number 7. His favorite moment in MotoGP of all time was Valentino's move on Jorge Lorenzo at the last corner in 2009 at Catalunya, probably a way of honoring his half-brother. Number 8. If he could add a circuit to the MotoGP calendar, he would add the circuit Imola. That is the one circuit he has always wanted to compete in. Number 9. He promised to get his first tattoo on his neck if he ever became a MotoGP world champion. And number 10. His favorite cheat meal is none other than the crepe with Nutella. His personal life. Luca Marini's parents are Stefania Palmer, who is Valentino Rossi's mother, and Massimo Marini. Love is also in the books for Luca. Martha Vincenzi proved it on her Instagram when she commented on a post displaying the unique diamond she received from her boyfriend Luca. The announcement quickly went on to top the charts, with them happily smiling. Over 20,000 likes and 500 warm comments so far. His net worth. With Team VR46, Luca is earning some good money. With a base salary of $300,000 and a $15,000 fee per race, all being well, he's set for a very lucrative career. Do you think Luca Marini can fill in Valentino's shoes? Let us know what you think in the comments.
Be sure to check out Moto Plus for more fantastic videos. See you there.